Hi there guys, my name is Arian and you can learn, make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit an amazing portrait step by step using some actions. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop. As you can see, this portrait needs to be clean. But before we start retouching this uh, portrait, make sure to check all the links in the description because you'll find the raw file and the retouching actions. So here we are in the shop with makeup artist retouching actions 2023 first thing first on this portrait we are going to clean it so go click clean and click play and put healing brush tool and zoom in into the portrait because we want to clean just a little things because as you can see this portrait or this female model has a lot of freckles so we don't want to destroy them so basically you only have to make some little changes into this portrait like a general clean dungeon burn and just a little in separation and here we are after some general clean as you can see a before and after i think it's okay i'm going to put this on top and merge the uh, two layers into one here's a before and after i think it's okay now i'm going to put uh, dodge and burn click play and open the dodge and burn turn on the black and white help player i will start dodging this portrait just a little because as i said in the beginning uh, the model has a lot of freckles and we don't want to destroy them so i'm going to dodge just into a small parts So here's a before and after of the dodge. And I think that is looking okay, but I'm going to reduce it just a little. Now I'm gonna start with a burn. So I'm gonna burn just a little a little around the forehead and around the eyebrows. I think that looking Okay, but I'm going to reduce it just a little. So here's before and after everything. And I think that is okay. I'm going to merge the dungeon burn. So I'm going to work the eyes. Eyes retouch. Click play. And click OK until it's done. And zoom in. Eyes. This one is to remove the veins. But uh, since we cleaned this portrait in the beginning, we don't need it right now. So I'm going to go to the brightening. This one is for the white of the eyes. So we have to paint it right there. Like this. Do the same process in both of them. This now you have to zoom out and check it before and after. But we are going to reduce it by 50%. Now click on the eyeball brightening and, and paint the eyeballs that zoom out to check a bit after and I think that 100 percent is way too much i think we are good with the 80. now click on the iris contour and paint it around the eyes just like that now check a bit after okay now check a before and after all the eye retouch. Split a group, but reduce it just a little. And merge. Now I'm gonna play this up. Just play. Paint it this add color. This. Now check a before after. That we have to remove just a little color on the eyebrows because it wasn't looking that good. We are good right now. Merge them. Okay. Paint it on the eyelashes just a little, but 100% is 
affecting much. Go by five, maybe. Yeah, 20. Okay, merge them again. Click here that says darken eyebrows and eyelashes. Click play on both of them. I'm gonna start with uh, eyebrows and darken them just a little. And I guess one uh 100 not, but it's 22, so I'm gonna go by seven maybe. And I think that is okay. Now click on darken eyelashes and paint on them. Like a before and after. And reduce this one again. And merge again into this one. Now check it before and after this entire process so far. And I think that is okay. Now I'm going to separation. Click play. Open the frequency separation. And I'm going to remove this kind of bar here, which is forehead. As you can see, removed the color, but we still have some marks in the texture. So I'm going to zoom in and click on the texture. Click and copy the texture with Alt, holding Alt keyboard. Just like this copy or clicking copy and paste it like this remove the texture around this i think that I have some color here now check it before and after on the version that i have to clean just a little on the color but i'm gonna use the patch tool just like this and of check it before and after I think it's okay, but I'm going to remove this kind of harsh texture here. That, and we are go. Gonna merge them. One, I'm gonna play the dodge and burn again. Click play, and I'm gonna put some dodge in the highlights. After it's looking okay, this we have to just a little port. After I think it's okay, but I'm going to reduce it by 50%. I'll click on the burn, and just a little more burn portrait. And I think that is okay. I'm going to merge them into one. Now check it before and after all this entire process and I think that we are good to go with the retouch so I'm gonna put some that click on sharpen and as you can see it's a black layer mask so I'm going to switch it white by control and keyboard that you can zoom in and check after. but 100% as I said, way too much. So I'm gonna go by 50. Now check on the basic contrast and reduce it by making it 65. And 65 is okay. Now click on the face contour. It is looking amazing. So I'm gonna merge them into a single and delete this black and white tile player. Now that we are done with the retouch, time to put some color grade into portraits i'm gonna check them one by one till i find the best color grade and i think that i will stick with the a7 as you can see a before and after but i'm going to open this color grade group and check them one by one maybe make some changes Maybe put some more adjustment to this portrait, like color balance, and go to highlights or into lower the opposite. Okay, click on selective color, click on yellow, and yellow. That again, click on. And 
can reduce it just a little after this color grade i think it's amazing but color grade click play wait until it's done and check after double click here and this one highlights you can move the highlights and this one stones this one shadows little and reduce it maybe by five for this and the color grade and here's here's before here's after retouch and here's before and retouch or grade So well, that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links in the description because you will find the raw file retouching actions and the color grade actions and see you guys in the next one peace